Hey guys, it's Wendy here. Happy spring! Today is our first full official day of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. And the equinoxes and solstices are big days where we have the opportunity to kind of reset our energy. And I asked the guides to sit down and chat just a little bit about the energies that we're moving through at the moment. Now, if this is your first time connecting with the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective, I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of who exactly they are. They are a group of about 2,500 beings of light. They don't have physical form, and they are actually working with you with tone and sound, which is why their dialect is different than my own. It's not any one particular dialect. It's just tones and sounds that they can modulate that resonate with you at a cellular level. So without further ado, here is the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective. Ah yes, hello dears, this is the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective and it is a pleasure and an honor to have the opportunity to connect with you. So we are here to talk about the energy surrounding this equinox and equinoxes are always an, an opportunity for you to regain a bit more balance in your life and this one is no different. Uh, each equinox carries with it an opportunity to create balance in a different area and this one is really about relationships and putting relationships back into balance, especially the one that you're having with yourself. So making sure that you are taking time to acknowledge yourself, to really put yourself back on the list because too often you put your personal needs aside and you're constantly putting out all this energy and then you're completely exhausted, you're completely depleted. And you've got to take some time to kind of reset recenter yourselves and open up to source energies so that you can recharge yourself. Now it doesn't take huge amounts of time for this to happen, but what it does is it takes repetition. It takes you coming back to that heart-centered space and honoring your word to yourself. So if you feel like there is something that you need to do, that you make sure that you follow through with that. If you've said you're going to do something for yourself, then do that because your inner child, your subconscious hears that. And when you're constantly letting yourself down, then that affects your overall energy. And it is after a while, um, something that's gonna set up resentment for anything else that you need to do. So in other words, if there is a project that your boss is asking for, or there is something that your partner is asking you for, you feel resentful because you haven't even taken care of your own needs. So anything that anyone is asking you for feels like a heavy obligation or a burden. And it may be the case where it's something that you actually want to do, but you just don't have the energy reserves and that can leave you feeling a little bit bitter. So this equinox is providing you the opportunity to come back into balance with that. So you might notice over the course of the next several weeks that you are having a disruption in your relationships in the typical patterns that you experience. Also, you've had a full moon yesterday and that is also an opportunity for you to release so you're releasing the old patterns, the old stories, and you're creating a new way of being for yourselves. You're telling yourself a new story, if you will, that things are flowing, things are in balance, things are in harmony, and moving forward from that space, as opposed to feeling depleted and shut down, and that's gonna get a very different result than you feeling completely energized and taking steps from that space. So the equinox brings up to your awareness some of these patterns, some of these belief systems that you have. Also in terms of relationships, what are you doing conditionally? What are you expecting conditionally uh, from your partner? So you will give love and appreciation only if you are given love and appreciation first or in return or you'll do something kind if it's acknowledged, if it is seen in a particular light. So there are conditions upon which you allow yourself to give and receive. And this equinox is helping you to kind of let go of some of those conditions and just be in an unconditional space and a balanced state with that giving and receiving. 
also for many of you who are drawn to work with us you are healers you are people who are constantly giving out and you also have to make sure that you are open to receive in equal measure and you know it's uh, too often you're out of balance in that way that there's too much energy going out and not enough coming in and here we're specifically talking about healers because there are many on your planet where the energy is all about me 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 come in come in come in because they're not feeling that connection to source energy they're trying to grab it and get it from any means possible outside of themselves and so they're not necessarily giving out they're just trying to receive that energy but specifically for those of you that we're encountering most of you tend to be healers and they're there's way more energy going out than coming in so looking at balance in relationships in that way as well now energy coming in doesn't necessarily have to come from the same person that you're giving the energy to you just have to be open to receive it from source from any means that source deems is the most appropriate way for you to receive it and again letting go of that condition for that that other party that they don't have to return energy to you in that equal measure so be open to the abundance that is around you in infinite forms and the many ways that the universe can provide that to you let go of those limiting beliefs and blinders that you may have that say well my source of energy or money or love has to come from a particular source it comes from the universe and there are infinite ways for that to show up so be open so we would like to do a very quick language of light activation for you that will help you to let go of the stories of the past and allow you to feel more in balance in your life to create new foundations and practices new belief systems new actions that will help to reinforce this sense of balance that is available to you in the cosmic energy at this moment all right so there's nothing that you need to know or do with the language of light it's a bit like an attunement where we're pointing out a specific frequency as we're speaking sources language and that is allowing you to alter your own frequency to match that resonance so think about it this way if someone has asked you to sing the note of C for most of you it would be quite difficult for you to find that note but if it's played on the piano then you can easily sing it you can reproduce it and that's the same thing that's happening in your field when you're presented with the frequency it's easier for you to reproduce it and maintain it when it's pointed out to you so the mind is not involved that's what actually allows you to move to this higher resonance if you want you can listen to this activation or attunement as often as you'd like or you can just imagine connecting with the energy again because it's deposited in your field so there's nothing for the mind to know or there's nothing for you to do except to be open in this moment so take a nice deep breath and we'll see where we go Take a nice deep breath.
All right, take another nice deep breath. So dear ones, we'll go ahead and we'll leave you here, but feel free to connect with us directly. You don't need Wendy, just ground to Mother Earth, heart center yourself, ask your question and listen. And until we hear from you, we will be around, we're watching, we're waiting, and we're sending many, many well wishes. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, or share it. It just might help someone else who's going through a challenging time today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. If you enjoyed working with this language of light activation, be sure to check out Galactic Light Code Monthly. You'll find more information over on our website at higherfrequencies.net.